I got a new Bronco for the garage. It's a 95 XLT. It's got the 5.8 with the E4OD and 31 by 10.5 by 15 tires. BF Good Wrench All Terrain TAs. Uh, 234,000 on the body, 100K on the 5.8. Not sure how many on the E4OD. Runs pretty good, drives pretty good. I got a couple problems with it. Uh, passenger side exhaust has a leak. The driver's seat tends to fall back when you accelerate. The column shifter, the column shifter is loose, and uh, the brakes are a little squishy. But all in all, it's a great truck. Got it for a great price. It's got a little bit of rust on the rear fenders, but not, not much to worry about. So we're going to talk about the PSOM, the Programmable Speedometer Odometer Module. Uh, what is a PSOM, and how do you pee it? If you are on any of the forums and you've been researching this topic, then you probably have seen that quote uh, in the thread, What is a PSOM and How Do You Pee It? by Steve83 on Full Size Bronco. Uh, the PSOM is your programmable speedometer odometer module. It's basically, it's your speedometer and your odometer. So here's your cluster. It's made up of your shift selector, PRND21, uh, your gauges, your PSOM, and your RPM gauge. So to remove your lens cover, you got a couple screws, a uh, 7mm or a T15, we'll get those off. And then your modules actually pop out. Your oil pressure gauge, your coolant temperature gauge is one module. Your battery gauge, your fuel gauge is another module. Your PSOM is a module and your RPM gauge, gauge is a module. If you have an F-150, this probably looks familiar. This is a cluster that does not have the RPM gauge. So you can see that they've separated the gauges to the left and right of the PSOM. This is pre-programmed at the factory based on your tire size. And if you open up your door jam, you'll see your factory tire size. And then this is going to be calibrated to match that. Um, I believe this one and the one we're going to be working on, which is in a 95 Bronco, has a 918 uh, calibration or conversion constant as it's called. So try this trick at home if you want. Uh, I've got this wiring harness out of a I pulled from the junkyard and I've got it wired into a 12 volt adapter. So I'm actually gonna send 12 volts to the PSOM. Uh, your ground is gonna go to I'm sorry your ground is gonna go to pink and then your power is going to go to the white, purple, and the green, yellow. So power to white, purple, green, yellow, ground to pink. And here's a, here's a piece um, that I've already got pulled out of a truck. You can see it's just a module that snaps in. So we're going to hook up the connector to the back of it and uh, get power so we can check the, we can actually check the um, calibration and we can check the mileage. This is going to be a little tricky with one hand, but what you want to do is hold the reset button while you apply power. So if you're in the truck, you're going to hold the reset button while you turn the ignition on. You don't have to start the vehicle, just turn the ignition on. So let's see if I can do this. We'll place this in here like that. Now I'm going to reach around and hit the reset button and then push this in the rest of the way. So you see the gauge testing itself. I think you've got E086 on the display. Uh, E08 is the firmware and the revision number. 6 is the number of resets you have left. This piece I'm only lets you change the conversion constant six times. And you can see how many changes you have left. So hit the reset button now, and it'll show you your current calibration. Uh, so 972 is the conversion constant that's currently set in this piece on. There's another procedure to actually change this, and it's very similar, but you have to ground a connector in the vehicle, and we'll show you that next. So there's a couple reasons you should program your PSOM and make sure it's accurate based on your tires. Number one is so your vehicle speed will show accurately because you don't want to get a ticket. Number two, so your odometer will count true 
And number three, if you have an automatic transmission, the, the PSOM sends information to the computer and that helps determine when the vehicle shifts. So you might notice late shifts, early shifts, or whatever, depending on, uh, depending on the calibration of your speedometer. All right, so I've got this little wire made up for the programming. On one end, I've got a spade connector. And on the other end, I've got an alligator clip. Okay, so mosey on over to TireRack.com and then shop by size. Go ahead and enter your tire size. And view results. Scroll through the list, see if you can find your tires. Um, if your tires are a little older, you might not be able to find them here. You might have to go to your manufacturer's website or actually contact your manufacturer to get the uh, revs per mile. Uh, there's also a procedure where you can figure out your revs per mile. I'm not going to go over that in this video. Uh, it's a little, it's a little in depth. I'll leave a link to Steve 83's Super Ford site where he goes over in great detail how to obtain your revs per mile uh, manually with a measuring tape and whatnot if you need to. So for this example we're going to select the BF Goodwrench All-Terrain TAKO2s and we're going to scroll down to specs and over on the right hand side you have revs per mile. This particular tire in this particular size has a revs per mile of 640. That's the number we're going to need to plug into our calculation and we're going to do that next. Okay, the formula for programming your 92 to 96 F series and Bronco PSOM is as follows. This also applies to, I believe, the 97 F250, since those are still considered the old body style. What's a PSOM? You're going to take your conversion constant. Damn it. What's a conversion constant? The conversion constant equals your reps per mile times your tone ring teeth divided by 8,000. In this particular example, we're using BF Goodrich All-Terrain TA KO tires and the revs per mile, which I got from the manufacturer, is 677. The number of tone ring teeth is 108. All Ford 8.8 .8 rear ends have 108 tone ring teeth. So you'll take 677 times 108. That'll give you 73,116. And then you take that number and divide it by 8,000, and you'll get your conversion constant, which is 9.1395 and that will round to 9.14. So when we calibrate our PSOM in the next step, we will type in 914 for our conversion constant. So the first thing we're gonna do in the vehicle is check the current conversion constant and see how many resets we have left. Okay, so we're gonna put the key in and while holding the reset button, we're gonna turn the key to the on position. You'll see your gauge do a self-check, and then your E086 will be displayed on the screen. Based on what is shown on the screen, uh, this is the firmware version, the E08, and then the 6 designates how many changes you have left. So this vehicle, I can change the conversion constant six times. All right, if you hit the reset button one time, it will display your current conversion constant. In this case, this vehicle is calibrated to 918, which should match up with the factory tires that were on this vehicle since the conversion constant has never been changed. All right, now we're going to show you how to actually change the conversion constant. All right, underneath the dashboard on the passenger side, there's going to be a little connector here, and it's got PSOM written on it. This is the connector you're going to need to ground. So you'll plug in one end of your wire that you made up over here. There's a male spade in here, so you'll, your wire will have a female spade on one end. Then you'll run your alligator clip to a ground point. So go ahead and hook your wire up. I've got mine connected to the PSOM connector, and then the other wire is ground on the ground point for the cigarette lighter. Okay, we've got our PSOM grounded, so we know that the conversion constant for this vehicle with these tires should be 9.14. So go ahead and hold the reset button while you turn the ignition to on. So I just want to cut in right here real quick. Um, be very careful while you're programming. I accidentally hit the reset button while I was changing to try and back out, and I didn't realize it at the time. 
but I did it four times and it brought my reset count down to two which is not ideal so I can only change it two more times if I ever decide to change the tires on this particular vehicle be very careful do not hit the reset button until you are certain that you want to lock in that setting if at any time you want to abandon the setting before pressing the reset you can just turn the ignition off and it will not waste the lockout I just want to make that crystal clear do not press the reset button until you're ready to lock in the setting let your needle sweep and then you'll press the reset button to go into calibration mode so now you're going to press the select button to change your conversion constant uh, we need to go to 914 so we're going to have to go all the way around the dial uh, this should go all the way down to 500 and then start back at 1100 that's the only way to do this so we're going to press this button a bunch of times to get from 910 to 914 While you're doing this, you want to be very careful. As soon as you press that reset button, it's going to lock in your conversion constant and you're going to waste a reset. So be very cognizant of the fact that that will happen. So this should get down to 500 and then it should roll over to 1100. And then we're going to keep on going down to 914. Alright, we've reached 914. To lock that in, go ahead and press the reset button and you're confirmed. So now go ahead and turn the vehicle off. Disconnect your PSOM connector. Now with the PSOM connector disconnected, go ahead and check to see if your changes were accepted. So hold the reset button, turn the ignition on. Now I have E081 which means one lockout remaining and 914 cal so this vehicle is calibrated properly